Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars and today we're trading a 1968 Cadillac for a 1962 Chevy Impala. Realistically, it it could be built, I would say, but every panel has got rust. These cars don't really have a huge popularity behind them and quite frankly, you have five to eight times, I would think, the money in this car as what you'd actually get for it. Motor's locked up, it's a 472. The frame is bad. The fenders on the lower side here have rust. This car, I mean, it's it really is a good donor, but it's not a good builder in my opinion. So we're gonna be trading this car for a 1962 Impala four-door sedan. And I know what you guys are saying, you know, why would you take a four-door sedan? Well, because it's solid and it's sitting here in a salvage yard. The floor was actually sold out of it. The guy never paid the guy, so technically, it's on death row, so we have to bring it out of here and put it back on the road. So here is the 62 in question. Again, it's a 1962 Impala four-door sedan. I'm gonna get a good trunk lid and good seats since it is missing seats. Has dealer air and it's a three-speed on the column, which is kind of unique for an Impala. This car is too good to be parted out. The owner of the yard told me the floors are sold, but they have not been paid for yet. So I got lucky and this car got lucky as well. It does have a little bit of rot in the floor. You can see right here in the tow pan. Um, there is one little hole underneath here. It's starting to, to come through. And then a brace on that side is also rusty, but for the most part, most part, this is a pretty good car here. Six cylinder engine. Let me see if I can show you this. The motor spins by hand. Hell, let alone it spins with one hand. Here's the dealer air compressor for the AC. So yeah, this will be an awesome rescue and put this one back on the road, definitely. I figured since I'm leaving this one here, I probably should just show you guys a little better now that it's off the trailer. It's got a 472 in it, motor stuck, AC, all that good stuff. Brown leather interior, power windows, power seat. Really not a bad car at all. It's just, uh, like I said, pretty rough. Another cool thing about these, seat belts. Obviously, I think 68 was the first year that seat belts were, were required under law. But it's cool how they put them right up there in the, up there in the uh, top of the roof. Vinyl top car. The vinyl top has not caused it to rot yet. These big old caddies are just cool cars, but like I said, this is a much better parts car than something that would ever be fixed. All right, let's get the 62 loaded.
All right, so the old girl is unloaded, sitting next to the Black Cat 59. That's gonna be the name for that project. But yeah, she's home. I put the seats in it just to kind of get them in there so it doesn't look so boring. Red seats, blue interior, white car. Hell yeah. A hodgepodge of colors and a blue deck lid. Yeah, this car is a cool car. This one's really solid. Motor, like I said, spins over real easy. So I've ordered parts for all this, um, for all the motor stuff. It is missing a lot off of the motor, just enough that, you know, why just kind of, uh, why kind of just hack it together to get it to run? Let's actually replace the stuff that needs replaced and, and make it right. So next week that stuff should be here. So hopefully you guys, you'll be seeing a little run video soon of this car. If you enjoyed the rescue for today, leave a like rating, also comment as well. And finally, if you guys are feeling generous and you guys love seeing old car rescues, make sure to subscribe and stay up to date with everything that I find. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars and I will catch you next time.